this video, we're going to see how to use Microsoft Word to draw diagrams. I primarily use the Insert Line button. When you do this, you can hold down the Shift button as you draw to make sure that your um, to make sure that your uh, lines are perfectly vertical or horizontal. You can also use the arrow keys and control to move your lines around to make sure that they are exactly where you want them to be. Using control um, reduces the amount that using the arrow keys moves the object. Uh, you can hold shift and select both of the objects to group them so that they become one object and you don't have problems with them separating as you add more elements. I'll also darken the lines and change the color just to make it look nice. To add labels, I use the text box tool and size it. Of course, you can change the font how you like and move it where you want. You can see that it's covering up the axis there, so I go in and I change the fill to either no fill or to transparent. And you can see there that the um, axis is visible once again. Again, I'm going to group those just to make it one thing. And then we're going to add some other elements. Next, we're going to see how you can add a curved line and make it look really nice. Make sure you use under the tools the tool labeled curve. I just draw it as a straight line, and you have to double click to finish it. And then you want to right click so you can edit the points. Using the handles, you can manipulate the curve in various ways and have it come out exactly like you want. Now I'm just adding some labels, um, and that's really all you need to do. I'm using copy and paste here to make a bunch of labels so I don't have to keep uh, formatting my text box. Uh, that's a way to save yourself a little bit of time. And then I'm going to change what those uh, text boxes actually say later on. So now we're adding a demand curve, dragging that over and editing, of course. And now I'm going to show coordinate points or uh, axis co coordinates. Here I'm going to format the shape and make it uh, dashed lines. And then again, I'm going to copy and paste that just so I don't have to go through the step of doing the format again. And now I'm just going to finish off this diagram. I do like to use the subset or uh, uh, superscript or subscript tools to uh, make my diagrams look a little bit more professional. And again, I might just group some things to make them move as one object. You can see the reason for that is that if they're not one object, what you can have happen is that you know, as you add words or whatever, um, your, your diagram will actually split into various pieces on various pages. And uh, you might not notice it and turn in something that really doesn't look very professional. Another way to accomplish this is to use a snipping tool, and I actually prefer this method, and to actually just make um, your diagram be a picture at this point. And then the, uh, you know, the program knows how to treat it, and it just treats it all as one object. Hopefully this is helpful. There'll be another video about adding more complex elements to your diagrams.